green flag is waving on the main event of the Bloomington Speedway. The wild child gets the jump, he'll lead the field into one and two. Christopher Bell in second, side by side for third. Garen Pittman down low, takes the spot away from Tony Schatz. Pittman will work the bottom in three and four and come out for second place, Christopher Bell. Jack Hodge still leading the opening lap. Shots now falls over Pittman once again in the battle for third. Pittman gets a good run down the back stretch, trying to catch back up with second place Christopher Bell, Bell and Hodge. will both run the cushion in three and four. Down low on the speedway, it's Garen Pittman in third. Shots now around the outside of Pittman exiting turn two and couldn't make the move there. Smoke out of Bell's car as he closes in on the leader. Christopher Bell down low on a turn four, but can't get by Jack Hodge and Shield. Bell all over the wild child now as they race down the back stretch and approach slower cars already with four laps in the books of Bloomington. Bell moves the inside but can't make the loop the lead. Bell around the outside of Hodge Shield now and he'll make the pass. Christopher Bell takes the lead down the back straightaway. Bell will lead lap number five. Back underway. Shots to the high side at one and two around the outside of Garrett Pittman. Donny Shots is now third and comes after second place Jack Hodge Shield. Hodgeshield running in the middle of the racetrack. Shots up on the cushion at the exit of turn four. If I take the peak back to the inside of Shots, Shots goes back to the bottom in one and two. Turn two gets a run on Jack Hodgeshield, racing for second into turn three. Shots down low. Hodgeshield up on the high side of the speedway. They are side by side as they cross the line. Shots kicks down low in one and two, and he'll get by Hodgeshield this time. Bonnie Shots now second in the SPP 15. Meanwhile, Christopher Bell held up by slower traffic now. Jake Flackhurst and Hunter Schurenberg racing side by side for position right in front of the leader. And now Shots dealing with the 1A of Jacob Allen. Nice move by Bell to split Flackhurst, but can't quite complete the split. Now he does by moving Schurenberg up the racetrack. Schurenberg slowing now on the front stretch. Looks like he may be taking the 20 end back to the pit area. Shots now right on the back bumper of Bell's 53 as they enter turns 1 and 2 and work traffic. Bell and Shots into turn 3 and 4. Jacob Allen on the bottom of the racetrack. Shots sneaks to the inside. And Christopher Bell barely out in front as they cross the line. But Bell gets into a lap car. And now Tony Shots makes the move for the lead. Bell got into Hunter Schurenberg. And Tony Shots made the pass for the lead at the exit of turn 2. Tony Shots a quarter of a mile from his second Bloomington Speedway victory. Shots works the low side out of turn 2. And brings the field down the back stretch. Checkered flag will wave for the second time here at Bloomington and for the 23rd time in 2014, Johnny Shaw equals his career best season with the World of Outlaws STP Sprint Car Series. We're set to climb out of the Tony Stewart Racing number 15 and head up top to celebrate win number 23 of the year.